Yeah. We understand yeah. the okay. tornadoes. Here yeah. is the craziest tornado story I've heard on record. There is apparently a record of this. Mm -hmm. uh, it was back during like the 1930s or 40s, but according to the news, a mother witnessed tornado uh, a tornado <laughs> a tornado. <laughs> 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 Shut up. I just ate a tomato. Leave me alone. Somebody clip this. Clip that. Clip that. Clip that. Okay, so here's the story. A mother with a, tor a tornado touched down on her property about a few miles out. It was on a ranch, and her daughter was riding her horse out there at the time. Oh my god, she goes out there to warn her daughter. The tornado is literally touching down right next to them. The girl and the horse see it, and they bolt, but the tornado is obviously too fast and snatches them right up. The oh, mother shit. more than likely believes that her daughter and the horse are dead at this point, but still gives chase. Uh, she chases the tornado down for about five miles when it when it eventually does dissipate. And holy crap, next to the fence where it dropped was the girl and the horse. They were hey. still alive. Oh my god. On top of each other or like Yeah, the ho the girl was still on the horse. She had wrapped according to the news, she told the the news journalist that she had wrapped her hands in the horse's mane as tight as she could and held on to the horn of the saddle and just held on for dear life and prayed. The horse took most of the beating. Uh, but oh. it, it still managed to survive and thankfully wasn't dropped too far off the ground. Um scientists strongly believe what happened was the fact is the tornado had just landed in an open field it didn't have enough time to suck up enough debris other than the ground the grass some rocks and whatnot and then it didn't last long to begin with when it dropped them about five miles down it probably lasted for about i don't know 20 minutes five miles yeah that's a ways it is a ways but it's a ways the but because the horse basically took the brunt or the beating of all that debris, uh, the girl gotcha. was mostly protected. The horse just suffered a bunch of cuts, but otherwise was fine. Damn. Yeah. So it's like, okay then. Apparently you can survive that. But the circumstances were obviously well within their favor because the tornado didn't have enough time to suck up enough debris that would hurt them. Do you have any idea how like, fucking lucky that is? Yeah, that that is, it's yeah. usually not in anybody's yeah. favor because usually a tornado does suck up a lot of debris by then. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of uh, the guy that got sucked up into a hurricane, got pembled with a bunch of hail, and apparently survived? I've never heard that one, no. That was told by, by a science survived, teacher. So. Where, well, yeah, there's one about that. There's one about like a guy that got sucked up into like a... a Sort of a hurricane, but it was it was a tornado, but with more rain in it. And because mm. there's cold air in the tornado, it it mustered up a bunch of hail. So the guy got sucked up into the tornado, was was just you know hit with hail everywhere. And these were like softball sized hail. Oh, right? that's gonna big. hurt. These were big, but apparently he survived. Don't know how. Just you know, he made it. <laughs> I guess. I mean, and I mean, and I've seen a video footage. You can find this up on YouTube. Guy, guy's truck was carried by a tornado across an interstate. Damn. <laughs> guy survived. <laughs> Lol, yeah, there the goes. thing is, the tornado itself isn't what's gonna hurt you. It's all the stuff it picks up. Yeah. yeah. Or throws around. But this is why they tell you that to hide in a vehicle, a kids. He gives you a lift. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's like ideally oh, in a, in a tornado situation, go as far away from anything as you can, because the less stuff it can throw at you, well, it, the more chance you have to Ideally, in a tornado situation, go into a basement. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that too. Or an interior room away from windows, because it'll throw shit at the yeah. windows. Uh, yeah. If you if you are outside, get out of your vehicle, get into a ditch, lay down as flat as fucking possible. No air under you. It can pick you up. Hmm. Yep. Apparently we. You can also, if you don't have access to either of those and are still outside, if you can find a highway overpass. Yeah, because uh, that should negate some wind, yeah. It'll break the wind. Yeah, it's funny because this down. year we were watching the skies at one point for a tornado watch because there were some that were touching down in the area nearby, but luckily nothing came near us. But apparently the sirens went off where my sister was up in northern Austin, so that was freaky. 
Oof. It's like, yeah. that's kind of unusual. Usually, I mean, tornadoes are capable of touching down here, but it's not very often. Tornadoes don't really like Central Texas. It's not yeah. unusual. Geographic <laughs> uh, <laughs> isolation from tornadoes. But yeah, Midwesterners know how to live with tornadoes. It's cool. Yep. Here's a here's a tornado yep. story that actually is something that my mom told me once. Um, apparently, I was born during a tornado. Ah. It, it, a tornado touched down near the hospital when I when my mom was giving birth to me. Apparently. I, I don't know how it didn't destroy the hospital. It must have been run luck. Don't complain about it. I mean, it could have just been a weak isn't... tornado. It could have been Possible. a weak tornado. Possibly, it, yeah. It's not like a bomb going off. It has to be powerful enough to pick stuff up and then throw it into other stuff. Mm -hmm. True. I think the, I think the strongest one I've ever been in was like F3 or something. Maybe F3. Maybe? Maybe. Ew. <laughs> Like, well, if it was next to your building and didn't do anything, that's like F1. Get out of the way! Ugh. Oh, I got a story. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's more funny than anything, but like, uh, we're coming home uh, from running errands in the next town over. And uh, this is me, my dad, and my sisters, or whatever. This is when we were like younger, but like not too, like, I like this. 10 years younger, in a way, I guess. But uh, we were coming back we because we had to stop the day halfway through because we saw some storm clouds come over. And they were like big black clouds. So they, they weren't like clouds that you, you know, mess around in. So we had to hurry home. We Laura, who was sitting in the back, is like terrified of storms at this point. So she's freaking out. So mm -hmm. dad turns on the radio. And the radio, in the middle of music, starts saying hey, there's a tornado watch. So she starts <laughs> freaking out even more. And so, and so, and so, we go, Laura, it's okay, it's just a tornado watch. And we go, but I don't want to watch it! That's so sad. It's one of my favorite stories of my sister ever. It's so good. For anyone who doesn't know the difference, a tornado warning is warning you that one exists and is nearby. A watch mm. means they're watching for one to form. Mm. Hey, well, mm. anybody else got a tornado story? If they find it, you have about like 15 minutes. Yep. Mm. Uh, yeah, I once when I was so very young, tornadoes. like six years old, was the only time we had a tornado near me. And it's the kind of thing that an hour beforehand, the weather was beautiful, the wind started picking up, and I'm like, oh, it's a little windy. Hour later, it's a freaking tornado. I'm a six year old with all the things people tell six year olds in this area about tornadoes. So I, I had like a bag in my teddy bear. I'm, st I'm in the basement and my dad keeps going upstairs looking out all the windows to see what the storm is doing. I'm terrified. I'm like, Dad, that's what you're supposed to not do. It's gonna oh. get you. Oh, no, that's exactly oh. what I did. No, literally, yeah. it, it, literally, it, it, I just didn't understand. <laughs> literally, every dad ever, when they hear oh, no, no. that there is a tornado warning or a tornado watch or something, they will go outside <sighs> and look and just yeah. watch. Yep. That's I what saw, I do. I saw just a watch it, see what's happening. From somewhere in the middle of the Midwest, I think it may have been Kansas. Um, and it was just a photograph of like the houses, and every house had like the dad with a can of beer, and they're all looking at the sky. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that's what that's you do it. when you're a Midwest dad. We get yeah, a beer and watch like... the storms. We did it at one point. Dad was like, "Hey guys, come outside. The the sky is fucking green." Oh, so we got beer. We got a we got a tent. <laughs> 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 oh we just got outside and watched the swirls go on in the sky. <laughs> that Although, doesn't sound too awful, my grandpa. I will say. I had one very cool storm out at my parents' house because we had this long porch on the front of the house mm -hmm. and there was a storm like a few miles out Damn in it. front of that porch. And we sat there in the chairs and it was just constant lightning, like faster than a strobe light. Like there was so much lightning, the whole world was just lit and then for one second lightning would stop and you'd remember it was night and then it would start again. Oh, whoa. oh it was crazy. That's cool. Dude, I still remember, like, my lightning story, because periodically we do get them in LA, uh, the L.A. area. Um, it was, like, 4 or 5 in the morning, and I'm still sleeping. It was during one of the summer times, 
and I was like about to end your senior in high school, I hear like the thunderous roars coming back and forth. And then there was one that I think it hit our street and it was so loud, I was shaking. Oh yeah. God. It's like, <laughs> like, oh, what the fuck? Holy crap. By the way, Logic, this is what the sky looks like in America before the tornado comes down. <laughs> Fucking oh, hell! Green. I think a li yep. like, I don't think yeah. that's a natural storm. I think a lich just woke up. Yeah, <laughs> this, 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 this guy, guy turns, turns green. green before a tornado hits. Yeah, Especially if there's gonna be hail. Yes, the, it's, the it's sky crazy. just breaks, and now you get aurora borealis before all I, hell breaks. Aurora mm -hmm. borealis. Thing. That rushes at you too. You mm -hmm. don't. Like, you see that from a distance, but it rushes in whatever direction okay. it's in. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I love like that. Like I said, fast. one hour it went from a beautiful day to a fucking tornado. Mm -hmm. it's like, I, I know how scary it is, but I love that, because it's got that fucking necromancer fucking hive from destiny look to it. It's like, I, something uh, evil this way comes. You've summoned an eldritch <laughs> horror to the world. you summoned Loki, here this. he comes. A yeah, couple basically. weeks ago, I and I texted Solar about this, um, like, like early in the morning or late something like I nodded off for a few hours then woke up there was thunder there was a storm like eight miles away I was counting some of that lightning after this like seeing the lightning and counting for the thunder but yeah, no yeah. Yeah. something that woke me up technique. oh no you know when thunder hits super close it's just a crack really loud oh, yeah, yeah. yeah this wasn't that this was a oh. long rumble went on for like nine or ten seconds it was so loud it shook my house Literally, I, know. I could hear the windows shaking and rattling for multiple oh my God, seconds. I... I'm like, what the hell? How is it that loud? There must be a plane crashing somewhere. But no, it was just thunder. And then, like I said, watch oh, the other man. lightning strikes. Normal thunder came from eight miles away. Like, what caused that? Went to work the next day, a bunch of people had heard it. They also didn't know what it was. Some of them thought it was a plane crash. Nothing on the news. No plane crash. Just one ridiculously loud burst of thunder that we don't know where it came from. I've Could that had happen one of those to me happen. once? Yeah. yeah. I don't remember how long ago, but I remembered it scared the crap out of my dog. It is. It woke me up in the middle of the night. Actually, I I like threw myself out of bed because it was so loud. It felt like a bomb went off, and then I, I right. listened again, and it happened yeah. a second and third time. It was one of those that you could feel it in your chest. You can yeah. hear the windows vibrate. It shook the foundation. Yeah. And the whole time I'm thinking, are we under attack? And I right? wake yeah. up to go and see if my parents are up because I'm, I'm thinking there's a bomb going on in our neighborhood or something. But no, nope, everybody was still asleep. <laughs> sleep. <laughs> All like right, and on that note, um, I'm going to BRB because I have a girlfriend to pick up.